for falling down, guys. Sorry, I have to put the camera down. Sorry about that. The Incredible Hulk. Um, I saw it once, several years ago. Thought it was decent. I need to watch it again. Faster with The Rock. Um, kind of a bad movie. There's a few good action scenes, but it's kind of stupid. Transporter and Transporter 2. The only state of movies I care for, along with Transporter 3. Good action. 30 minutes or less. I just recently rewatched this. Um, I saw it about a year ago. And when I first saw it, I thought it was really funny. And I just watched it again and I thought it was really stupid. So I don't know what happened there. And that was only like not even a year apart. Leon the Professional which I just watched on Blu-ray for the first time. I had seen it before. A great movie. Um, there's some good action there, in there and just a really unique, interesting story basically about Leon, who's this hit man, and kind of takes in um, this young girl, Matilda, played by Natalie Portman, when, um, you know, she has nowhere to go and her family's killed. And he takes her in in her time of need, and they kind of, they almost become romantically involved, but it's a really great movie. Pineapple Express I thought was great, very funny. Shoot him Up, I already told you, I think that's a horrible movie. The Karate Kid, um, I saw it a few times when I was young, and... I just watched it recently. I thought it was boring and the fight scenes were so cheesy. I know it's a classic though. Salt, I remember seeing this in the movies, at the movies, and um, I liked it. I thought it had some good action in there and a cool story. The Rock, love this movie, great action. Rush Hour, um, pretty good, good comedy and some good action. The Campaign, it's really stupid, but it had just enough uh, real comedy in there to make me laugh. Um, definitely not a good movie, but it's just kind of a stupid, silly film that I, I kind of need to have. Face Off, um, decent action comedy. Disturbia, um, a film I really like. Now, well, yeah, I, I like it. And I saw that in theaters, too. Um, yeah, it's nothing... Well, I like it. I know a lot of people hate it, but I like the movie. It's a good kind of a summer movie, actually. Edge of Darkness, I like this. Uh, good story and some good action, too. The Expendables, I love it. Uh, cheesy, but just has some great action. I actually like the first one better than the second one, but the second one was still pretty good. Kick-Ass, I love it. Can't wait for the sequel. The Sandlot, great movie. Great childhood movie. Due Date, I thought was great. Really funny. Dread, probably the most underrated movie of 2012. Uh, really good, really good action, and a really good, that's how you uh, remake or reboot a movie. Take it in a totally new direction, but it still feels kind of like a remake. Um, loved what they did with that. Iron Man, best one of the trilogy. Um, second one was horrible, and third one was not as bad as the second one, but pretty bad in my opinion. But I like the first one. I think it's pretty good. The Avengers, great. Jaws, I only, I've only i only seen this once. Um, 
a few months ago. The Blu-ray is one of the best transfers ever. But the movie I thought was just okay, honestly. I know it's a classic. The Town I think is a really good movie. And people call it a heist movie, but it's not even really a a heist movie in my opinion um because they don't show too many heists um it's more about kind of this uh bank robber's life and his struggles red i thought this was a decent um action comedy the second one's coming out next month actually but i enjoy that i think it's slightly underrated the crow i thought this movie was just okay kind of Weird and different. Um, Above the Law with Seagal movie I really liked as a kid. and I didn't watch the whole thing recently, but a few months ago I started it. And I didn't think it was as good, but I need to finish it. And I have four brothers. I love this movie. Watch, I remember watching this on TV for the first time on like TNT, I think. And I just loved it. A great action uh, gangster movie. Not gangster. Come on. Not gangster like Goodfellas or anything, but like street gangster. Um, I have the Hellraiser 4 film collection, um, which I haven't seen any of these yet. And it's not like the first four either. It's the crappier ones. And I have Gone with the Wind and Awakenings. I haven't seen either of them ever. Now for my steel books. I have the Batman, the Nolan Batman trilogy. I think the first one is really good. I'm not a big fan of the second one, but it's still good. And then I love the third one. Green Lantern, Crap, V for Vendetta, Decent, and Unique. 300 I thought was just okay. The Book of Eli, kind of an interesting one because I thought it could have been a lot better than it was. Um, it felt very watered down and like they... Um, cut a lot of corners. I thought if they really took their time with this, made it longer, and took the plot somewhere else, because there really isn't much of a plot, I think it could have been a really good movie. The Departed, just an amazing movie. I love it so much. Um, probably my favorite uh, acting performance ever by DiCaprio. Inception, love this movie. Thought it was really good. I actually didn't think this was, um, I thought the concept was very unique and creative. But I remember when it came out, and I just saw this recently, I saw it last December. I remember when it first came out, everyone was saying like this just blew their mind and they were making it out to be like such a great psychological thriller. I didn't think it was that, that like... I think, didn't think it was that mind-boggling, but um, still a really good movie. Sherlock Holmes, the first one I thought was really long and boring. I didn't like it. Second one, I had no idea what was going on with the plot, but I seem I happened to uh, enjoy it a good deal. Um, liked it a lot better than the first one. The first Hangover, I love it. It's really funny. The Hangover too. Everyone hates it, but I, it's not as good of the as not as good as the first one, of course. But I still really liked it. Clash of the Titans and Wrath of the Titans. They were both just okay. I don't like them that much. This is a DVD steelbook, which I won in a contest from Movies R Us, 1984. I am Legend. I've seen the movie once, and I didn't think it was that good. Just okay. The Born Trilogy. I'm more familiar with the first two. I watched them several times in my youth. I uh, really liked both movies. I always liked the... I think I liked the first one better. 
I can't quite remember. But the first and the second one, uh, really good. I don't remember the third one too well, but I did see it in theaters. Um, I love that whole idea of, you know, the character doesn't know who he is and he's trying to piece together his story. And I, I really like movies like that. Taken, I'm um, not taken. Unknown was like that too with Liam Neeson. I thought it was really similar to this and I like that movie a lot too. But these have some really good action scenes and the story I think is really interesting. Born Legacy, that was crap. Uh, Total Recall, I regret buying the steel book. It was, it started out good and then it got really stupid and it was too long and the story was really weird. I really liked the first, the original. Um, yeah, I thought it was just a very mediocre movie. Django Unchained, I love this steelbook, and I think it's a great movie. Um, great dialogue, a great script, great acting, and some cool action in there. Les Mis, haven't seen it yet. And then these two steelbooks, which I won in Trey Pastor's last contest. The original Batman, or the 1989. Um, I haven't seen these on Blu-ray yet, and Batman Returns. But I have seen them, and I remember enjoying them. And Van Helsing, one of my childhood favorites. I watched it several times. I don't remember too much, though, but I remember really liking it. And Hellboy 2, I think I've only seen it once. But I remember really liking the first one, and... I always love that movie. Those are actually the only two um, of the comic book wave steel books that I have right now. I actually won another steel book from 08 Yoder, which um, I think should be coming next week. Um, Pitch Black, which I've never seen, but just mentioning that. Uh, Terminator Anthology. First one is really good, I think. The second one is even better. The third one is crap. And the fourth one I thought was decent. I thought it was pretty interesting. Home Alone Collection, love both of them. They're both great. Probably like the first one more, though. Die Hard Blu-ray. Uh, this is a 25th anniversary collection. It's not the latest one. Um, it's not the legacy set that has the newest one. I thought the newest movie was crap. Um, yeah, one and two, I think, are both. I think one is one is great. Two was pretty good. Three was kind of average, and four I I liked. I thought it was really good. RoboCop trilogy. One is the best. Um, really liked it. I thought two was still pretty good. I know a lot of people hate three, but I didn't hate it. I thought it was still enjoyable. Was, you know, they're all kind of cheesy movies. They have kind of a weird style, but um, I still enjoyed the third one. I thought it was okay at worst. And then I have the Lord of the Rings trilogy. This isn't the extended version box set, but... I think they're really good movies. They're just hard to rewatch. Um, the first one's my favorite. They have the Alien box set, which is a really cool box set. I've only seen the first one, which I thought was good. Um, need to see the other ones. Then I have the E.T. Digibook. I watched this movie a few times as a kid, I think, but I just recently rewatched the Blu ray. A uh, really good sci-fi movie. And then I have the Hobbit Digibook, um, which I really enjoyed. Um, can't wait for the second one. I don't know why so many people didn't like this movie. I'm, well, I'd say um, probably just from the feedback I've heard. Uh, I think a lot of people... I think it was about split, the people that really liked this and people that thought it was a bad movie. But um, 
I really enjoyed the movie. Um, comparing it to the Lord of the Rings trilogy. I don't think it's really a fair comparison because I see the Lord of the Rings movies as kind of an epic war story. And The Hobbit is lighter, more of um, an adventurous kind of thing. And my battery is about to run out. So I have to stop this, but um, thank you for watching this. Please check out Ben S's channel. Please subscribe to the new FanFest channel. You'll get a chance to win uh, Man of Steel Steelbook. And Ben S is having a contest for the Iron Man 3 Blu-ray. Check him out. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all later. Bye.